in terms of highlights for 2019, the capital growth of the active portfolio was up 3.3%. Our average value per property continues to grow at 236 million rand. We completed developments of 2.7 billion rand during the year, and we've got a further 340-odd million rand in progress at the moment, the biggest one of which is 155 West Street here in Santon. There have been disposals during the period, totaling 1.4 billion rand. We are quite pleased with our active vacancy of 5.1%, slightly up on last year of 4.5%, but in the circumstances, we believe it is a fantastic outcome. In terms of total letting, you'll see that we let a total of 842,000 square meters. Now, that is no mean feat, given that most of the listed counters' total GLA isn't even that number. Tenant retention is maintained at a very healthy 93.3%. So for us, our immediate focus is to reduce our balance sheet risk. We, we will be delivering sustainable quality earnings. You've already seen it start with recurring income growth of 6.6%. Uh, we are adopting operational excellence in terms of the way in which we approach everything at Redefine. Living our values to protect and grow our reputation in every situation is something we stress continuously. It takes one slippage to tarnish your name, and we are, we are aware of that. And then lastly, placing people at the heart of what we do. Um, in terms of guidance for 2020, I, I need to be absolutely clear here, yeah, because I think in our endeavors to comply with JSE speak and the like, we may have inadvertently confused people. So I'm just going to explain exactly what we mean when we say we will anticipate um, distributable income per share to be in line with 2020. Just to make it clear, we delivered in 2018 distributable income of 97 cents per share. I'm talking about 2018. And we distributed 100% of that. So we distributed 97 cents per share. Um, in 2019, we delivered distributable income of 101 cents per share. We have distributed 97 cents per share. And the, the reason for that was that we've retained, as I said earlier, 3,7 cents thereof. I'm just rounding it up to 4 cents to make it 97. Now for next year, we will look to be achieving distributable income per share of 101 cents per share. But we will have a full year of retaining a dividend of, uh, let's just say, it's, it's roughly 7 to 7.5%. Seven so in, in cents per share's term, you're probably looking at a distribution per share of 94 cents per share for next year after the full implementation of the distribution or, or the dividend payout policy. So just in percentage terms, if you just look totals uh, versus last year, 97 cents was distributed in 2018, we're delivering the same this year, so it's 0% growth. And then going into next year, if you have a look at it, it's roughly a 3% negative growth in terms of distribution per share.